Hi, I'm Heather Dorf, indie actress, and you're watching Tony Has Nine Fingers. <laughs> What is going on, people? I am back here. Actually, I taped a uh, a another video right before this. I did an introduction into my latest page, my new page, The Walking Tone, which I, I mentioned. Um, I'll leave the link to that. Go ahead, check it out. If you know, if you're in, uh, you know, you're looking to lose weight, or you're looking, you know, for inspiration or something like that, go ahead and check that page out. What I'm gonna do is. Uh, pretty much upload videos of my walking videos and uh, you know me trying to you know help or tell everyone what I'm kind of trying to do to lose weight and such so you know we'll take a journey together go ahead check that out share it if you want um, if you know anybody who's trying to you know go on their own weight loss journey so that's a cheap plug for my other channel but let me get into this uh, it's been a while since I've made uh, a video uh, a couple weeks um, you know, like I said in the other one, I'm on a weight loss journey and such, so it's kind of hard to juggle time, but I am off today. So what I'm going to do today is um, show everyone what I got through uh, Black Friday and uh, Cyber Monday. Uh, got a whole bunch of stuff. There's other things that I can't have because kind of my mom was like, oh, I'll get you it for Christmas present. So I do have other ones such as a few seasons like the Black Sail seasons, Band of Brothers, uh, the Pacific, uh, there was a lot of, you know, cheap Blu-rays on uh, Black Friday. So those are the ones I got. But these are the ones, you know, I bought myself. And uh, let me get into it. Actually, there's a couple here that uh, I ended up winning in a contest, which uh, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, James Ash on here, uh, he has a uh, uh, Facebook page, a Horror Movies Evil Ash. I believe that's what it's called. I'm, if I messed up, I apologize. I'll leave the link to that page. Anybody who's a horror movie fan, whether it's, uh, you know, they it's pretty much everything horror related. Either, you know, uh, pictures, uh, movies, uh, news, anything. Uh, any, if you're a horror fan, definitely go ahead. I'll leave the link to that page on the bottom of this. But uh, he had a contest uh, sometime in October. And, uh, no, sometime in November, I believe. Or was it the end of October, early November? Uh, pretty much... You had to guess what his favorite 80s comedy was, and I ended up getting it, and I ended up winning. Uh, every once in a while on that page, you'll have a, uh, a giveaway and everything. Really cool guy. Definitely go ahead and check that stuff out. Uh, pretty much, I ended up winning, and what I won were uh, a couple different things. I won uh, this, uh, Jeepers Creepers, uh, on Blu-ray here. I won, um, let me see if I have it here while I'm here, uh, this here. Uh, the Return of the Living Dead uh, Blu-ray. This is the ones that uh, Best Buy had, not Best Buy, Walmart, I believe, had these uh, towards uh, uh, Halloween and stuff. So I got that. I also got the uh, Omen collection. I'm pretty sure it has three Omens. Let me see. Uh, four Fright no Omens. They had the three older ones and then the remake that they made in early 2000s. So that's the Omen here. Uh, Omen collection on Blu-ray, which I still haven't opened, and also he got me the uh, the Hills Have Eyes, the remakes. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are the remakes. It actually might be. Let me see. Uh, let me see. It doesn't say when it was made. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the uh, newer uh, Hills Have Eyes. Uh, so. I got all that from winning that contest, so that was really cool. Like I said, go ahead, follow him, James Ash, or James L. Ash, I believe, on here. I'll leave all the links and everything on the bottom of this video. Uh, but go ahead, check out the Facebook page, Facebook fan page, uh, not fan page, it's a, you know, a group page. So go ahead, I'll leave the links to them on the bottom of this video. Uh, let me get into uh, what I got on Black Friday. Uh, a lot of these movies actually... Every single one except for a few that, you know, are a little older that I picked up, I have not watched. A lot of these I have not watched. Uh, this first one is uh, The Last Castle with Clive Owen and Morgan Freeman. A lot of these were from, like, 
four dollars to seven dollars so i picked those up uh this one has bill paxton jeffrey dean morgan cynthia adai robinson brendan frazier and ray Liotta. sounds like it has a pretty good cast a couple of them i didn't know i mean bill paxton brendan frazier and ray Liotta. the other two i did not know and that is uh texas rising uh this one here uh this came to four dollars so even if it isn't the greatest um i decided to check it out and that's spiders the city is crawling i guess that's a little hashtag or whatever but that's spiders uh this one here uh i wish i found a uh cover for it in a uh you know a little box but they didn't have it but that's insurgent i got this one a couple years old now but uh machete kills i got uh age of adeline again i wish a lot of these had i'm more of a uh you know uh slip cover guy myself but you know for the prices i got i can't really complain this one i wanted to see uh, you know it kind of looks like a uh chick flick and everything but i wanted to see it i remember seeing the trailer and thought it was cool still haven't you know sat down and watched it but uh got that i got this from best buy i believe uh most of those were from uh walmart i got this from uh best buy and that's uh orange is a new black season two here on blu-ray um this came to seven bucks so really couldn't beat that uh this one you know i've had before on uh, dvd i just got this it's a two disc set uh three versions of the film unrated original and wake up ron burgundy uh, a whole bunch of different things cr trading cards and such and that's uh the anchorman it comes in this nice you know bigger slip cover i guess you want to call it uh i've had it on dvd so i just decided to upgrade it that one came to like four bucks uh this one was best buy um what is this justice league the uh gods and monsters you know i've been getting into i was never a really big cartoon uh you know action you know marvel and stuff fan wasn't a huge fan but i decided to you know get into them and some of them were, were pretty cool i think i have the uh batman and robin uh this year i got a whole lot more at um at best buy than i did walmart the year before i got a whole bunch of walmart and minimal at best buy but best buy had a, a really good selection this year i got the entourage movie uh that was like eight bucks or something like that what i'm gonna do now is you know uh what i've been doing lately is buying a whole bunch of stuff on tuesdays uh and a lot of these movies i could have waited for uh so i kind of got to budget my money a little bit better and kind of you know wait on movies i guess you want to call it because a lot of these i can probably wait for black friday like this one i was gonna buy i never got around to it and then i found it for i think it was six bucks and that's uh the second best marigold hotel or the second best exotic marigold hotel has uh judy dench uh, maggie smith bill knighty uh dev patel and richard gear uh i remember wanting to get that and you know never got it this one i got uh, Terminator Genesis, another one I was going to buy, uh, even though, you know, I heard bad things. I pretty much just waited for it. Uh, this was 8 bucks, I believe, on Black Friday. Uh, these two I bought from Walmart, uh, thinking they might have been on sale, but they weren't. So pretty much I just got them for the regular uh, Tuesday sale price, I guess you want to call it. And that's uh, Ricky and the Flash, starting, starring Meryl Streep. Uh, this one looked pretty cool. And then this one I got, I really don't know much about it, Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart in uh, American Ultra. No idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one I got from Walmart, uh, The Mummy, in this, you know, the uh, comic book, I guess you want to call it Steel Book. I got a whole bunch of these. I like these. I, I ain't the biggest Steel Book fan because uh, on the back they really don't have any information. I like to know what's on the uh, thing. They pretty much just come with that slip card, I guess you want to call it. And, most of the time that thing falls off because it's, you know, not really secured on there well. But these, uh, I think, are really cool because it does come with everything that you need to know on the back. Uh, I know, like to know, like the special features and stuff. So I like these uh, steel books themselves. So that's the mummy. I got this um, uh, from, these next two I got from Best Buy. Uh, this was uh, 8 bucks, I believe. And that's the, uh, comes with the Goonies. I already have the Goonies in the box set up there, if you can't tell. Uh, where is it? 
right there, right? Um, my, my thing's over it, but the Goonies box set, and then it also came with the Gremlins 1 and 2. Uh, pretty much got that disc to upgrade those to Blu-ray, uh, so yeah, uh, got that. Uh, also got this, which was pretty cool, and that's, uh, you know, it's a, I didn't expect them to have this for, I think it was five bucks, uh, or three something, and then it, whatever, but this is the, uh, Digibook of, uh, Diversion, uh, you know, I wasn't really up on these movies, I remember watching one of them on Voodoo, and I was like, you know what, really not my style of movie, so I'm gonna wait for it, and you know what, Come, getting it in this nice, you know, Digibook and everything is, is pretty cool, uh, so yeah, that's Divergent, uh, those are the stuff I got on the, uh, Black Friday, uh, there was two things, uh, I spent 140 bucks on two things, and, uh, the reason I did is because they were on, like I said, many a times in many of my videos. If I can find a good enough sale, I'll get it. And these two happen to be, you know, something I was interested in. This one I was interested in for a long time. I was on sale on right before Cyber Monday. It was the day before on Amazon Prime. And, uh, you know, I like this show. It's on ESPN. I, I like this show a lot. It's got five seasons of it. It comes with 100 Blu-rays. Uh... No, 100 films. It's, uh, I don't remember how many Blu-rays it is exactly, how many discs it is. But it's 100 documentaries. Actually, it might come with 100. I, I'm pretty sure each documentary is on each, uh, on each thing. But, uh, this right here, I'll show you the, uh, the thing first. But this came to 60 bucks, originally priced 199 So I'm like, you know what? Let me get it now before it goes up and I can never get it. And that's... Uh, the 30 for 30 collection, it's got uh, five seasons on it, or in it, and uh, it's kind of pretty cool. It's shaped as uh, the, uh, um, what do you want to call it, a movie ticket. Um, the, uh, you know, box could be a little bit sturdier. It's not horrible, but I like it. So that's uh, the 30 for 30 collection, and this is the actual set, I guess you want to call it. And I think it might come with... Uh, no, uh, how many discs does it come with? It comes with 20 discs. No, nope. yes, 20 discs. It's a 20 disc set, 100 documentaries. A uh, couple of them have, you know, uh, four to five different documentaries. It gives you the, you know, uh, the list of everything on here. And uh, like I said, it came to 60 bucks. Uh, originally priced, it was like $199.99. And, uh, on the Amazon Prime deal itself, it was, went down to 112 by then the day that they had it, because Amazon Prime usually has, like, deal of the day, it went to 59.99. So, 60 bucks. I'm like, you know, let me get this before, you know, it goes, jumps up in price. So, I'm like, you know what, let me get it. And I bought it. So, this 30 for 30, I think it's pretty cool. And this other thing was on Cyber Monday, it was the one deal that I saw. I was looking for different things. I saw it. And, uh, you know, I had to jump on it. Cost uh, $79.99. Came to 80 or no, what was it? Um, came to $89.99. Uh, 93 total. Uh, you know, this is the most I've spent on something like this. I decided to get it because, you know, uh, the only two movies of this I had on Blu-ray was the final two, like part one and part two. So I'm like, you know, let me upgrade this to uh, Blu-ray. It comes with 31 discs. It has... The Blu-rays, the DVDs, and then the other discs are the special features for the Blu-rays and then the special features for the DVDs. Uh, I like this box set. It looks really cool. This thing is gigantic. Uh, pretty heavy, too. And like I said, it came to $89.99 and then originally priced almost over $150 bucks as well. Um, and that is uh, the Harry Potter Hogwarts edition. Uh, like I said, it comes with 31 discs got the blu-rays the dvds and then uh the special features for the blu-rays and then special features for the uh for the uh dvds uh like i said the, the i'll show you it i'll open it up uh pretty much the uh thing comes off i have the uh prisoner of azkaban in there but uh open it up it's got that it's got this nice you know uh thing of hogwarts and then each uh movie gets its own page i guess you want to call it like i said it comes with the uh the uh the blu-ray here the dvd and then it comes with the uh 
I'm pretty sure it goes to Blu-ray. No, the Blu-ray special features and the DVD special features. Uh, the only reason why, and I don't know why it's like that, but the only one that doesn't have DVD features is, uh, what, what is this one? The uh, Order of the Phoenix. So it only comes with the Blu-ray, the DVD, and then the Blu-ray um, the Blu-ray special features. For some reason, it's the only one that doesn't have four discs with it. Like I said, it's kind of it's kind of odd, but you know, each one of these comes with, uh, you know, which one is this? A bonus disc, a bonus Blu-ray with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's uh, you know, has seven extra special features, I guess you want to call it. So you know, this thing is pretty much uh, monstrous. Uh, definitely worth the money. Like I said, it, it, I had to jump on it. When I see a deal that, you know, I just can't pass, even if I don't like the movie, it's, uh, you know, I'm not a diehard fan. I got to jump on it. You know, I'm a sucker for deals. So, like I said, for $89.99, I think this came, if I, I, I got to look, re-look up what it actually is worth. But this thing is awesome. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know if it's still on sale or what it is. But that's the uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts collection. So that's pretty much what I got over the past, like I said, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So, um, you know, let me know what you guys got. I know this is a little late. This is almost a week into it, but uh, or a week after. But um, let me know what you guys got. Uh, I posted. I'm gonna post most of these pictures on my uh, on my Instagram. Uh, Tony's movies for anyone that you know has an Instagram that watches my videos uh, Go ahead check out my Instagram where I post pictures of my collection uh, Go ahead check out the walking tone. I'll leave the link to that. I'll leave the link to my Instagram Go ahead check out uh, James's you know horror movies uh, evil ash horror movies again I forget the name of it. I apologize, but I'll leave the link to that again if you're a horror movie fan if you're into anything horror related, whether it's that you might not have to be movies, anything horror related, definitely go ahead check that out. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna try to do more videos, get get on things. I've been you know slacking big time lately. But uh, again, you know, thank you for everyone who continues to watch what I do, who st stuck with me through you know the times when I wasn't making videos and you know my content might not have been the greatest. But uh, again, thank you. Uh, Again, if let me know what you guys got uh, on uh, Black Friday if you guys went out. But, uh, yeah, again, thank you. Go ahead, share all that stuff. I will have the links to everything on the bottom. Um, I'll try to do more. I'm going to try to do uh, reviews. I'm going to put reviews up. I'm, I'm going to try to get into more of, you know, single movie reviews, which I might, you know, sit down and do after this. But, uh, I... Yeah, I got into contact with some people and they might send me some movies to review for you guys, which will make it a little bit easier. But, uh, yeah, again, again, thank you. Check out everything on the bottom of here. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.